Welcome to another session. I will be deploying and testing MySQL database on Railway app. To test it locally, we will use MySQL Workbench, which uh, if you don't have, you can download a version. This is the application. It's available online and it's free. I already have mine installed, so I'll just uh, proceed with the tutorial. For you to deploy, you come here and uh, you create and then see database and then select add my SQL. And then right away, without you doing anything, it will start spinning up the deployment. Let's give it a maximum of two minutes before we come back and check uh, if the instance has been deployed. Uh, before it deploys that, let's have a quick look at the docs uh, in terms of what Railway App has to offer. So I'm um, right here, docs.railway.com and then guides. So uh, ideally, Railway offers to my SQL deployment options to accommodate different needs. So we have one a standalone instance and a high availability cluster. So ideally what we are doing now is a standalone instance. This is a single MySQL database server that is easy to manage, ideal for de development environments, smaller projects, or services which are less sensitive to disruption. So um, ideally if you are doing a personal project or a small project, or you have a small microservice that is running and requires a very small database, I would uh, ideally advise you to go for this. Um, the next one is a high availability cluster. This one is in, intended for production workloads where uptime is critical. So this one has three MySQL nodes configured as you know, DB cluster and uh, MySQL router services that enables you to connect to the cluster. So I did, this is what we are doing now, the standalone MySQL. So you can deploy a, stand, a standalone MySQL via CMD uh, manual by clicking the new button. That's what we've done. You click new and then select, and then it will start uh, the deployment. Ideally, it should take about two minutes and uh, it's up. Uh, the next section will be testing this uh, locally. So, let's click on this and then let's go here to settings just a minute variables i mean so uh to connect it from the variables um just pick this my public url because uh, you'll be connecting a local so let's copy this Place it somewhere, just delete this. So yes, so um, this is your host, this part after the password. So this is your host, just copy it. Come here, create new connection. So that this is your host. Uh, let's look at the port. This is the port. Have that port here. The username is of course root, but you can create other users once you've connected. And uh, the password is this. So let's say test connection. It prompts me for the password can save this in vaults for future use can say okay uh, let's say continue anyway so it successfully made the connection to our deployed instance so let's just uh, see it and see if we can create some schemas there okay we need a connection name maybe test one and then we should be good to go so ideally you should be able to 
interact with your database that you have deployed from your local host or from your MySQL workbench. So in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to set up uh, the monitoring for the database. Let's just write a query.